everybody. Thanks for joining us for another Facebook Live here at Franklin Park Zoo. My name's Amy. I'm one of the animal ambassador specialists here at the zoo. And I have a very special guest with me today. I have Gertrude. She's an African pygmy falcon. And we wanted to celebrate going back to school season a little bit and talk about some of the training that we do with our falcon here. She is one of our animal ambassadors, which means she's trained to voluntarily come out for programs. And we try and make it as enjoyable process as we can for her. So you can see she's sitting right on my glove right here. So she does voluntarily come out in the glove, which means when I go into her enclosure, it's a little hard to see right here, but she does have little bracelets called anklets on her feet right here. So they're kind of tucked in. She's sitting a little lower. Can't see them really well, but they have little loops in them. So we have a little line right here that I can put through her anklets and run them through and clip her right onto my glove so that way she's with me. She's nice and secure and she's safe. So if anything does spook her, she's still gonna stay with me and not be able to go anywhere where something might kind of get to her or where we can't make, so we can make sure she's safe. And when I go into her enclosure, what I can do is talk to her a little bit with training. We did a lot of work with her. She was hand reared. So she's very comfortable with people. She likes the attention when you come over and say hello to her at her enclosure. So we did a lot of work with her so we can go into her enclosure with her, hold up the glove right up to where she's hanging out on a branch. She is trained to, we can tap on a particular branch that's at a nice kind of height for us to kind of reach over and interact with her. We can ask her to perch, she'll go over. We can hold up the glove and ask her to step up. So she'll step up onto the glove all on her own. I can slide in these little extra dresses into her anklets and then clip her on the glove and then we can just walk her outside so, and that's where we are right now. So, did mention that we're talking about training a little bit. So, if you've been to the zoo, you've maybe heard about bird flu and some of the precautions that we had to take. Um, so, we've actually just been able to get her out during this, for the first time this season, now that things are starting to calm down a little bit. So, because we don't have her on the ground, it's safe for us to bring her out for brief periods. So she hasn't been out much this summer. This is actually the third time she's been out this summer since we started taking our bird flu precautions. So you can see she's relaxing really well. She's sitting just looking around on the glove, kind of checking everything out. She does, she is very curious, so she likes to check out everything that's going on. So she is a little quiet right now. She is, if you've been over to Franklin Park Zoo before in our tropical forest building, you might have seen some of our other pygmy falcons that we've had and maybe heard them chirping a little bit. So Gertie is usually very chatty when we pass by her enclosure. So she's a little quiet right now. So that's something as we're working with her, as we're bringing her outside more, as the weather's nice. Hopefully as she gets more comfortable, we'll start seeing a little bit more of her chirping and kind of like her bobbing posture. She's bobbing her head a little bit. So we know she's feeling pretty comfortable because she's just sitting relaxed on my hands. Um, I'm not holding on tight. If she wanted to fly away a little bit, she could, but she's just comfortable kind of sitting, taking a look around at everything. So she, I did mention we can bring her out on the glove and walk her outside. One of the things that we're actually going to be working with her on soon, we can bring her out to places more than right outside our building, is crate training. So we'll get her comfortable going into a crate um, so that we can bring her out to schools and for other programs but we always go at our animal's pace when we're working with training. A little intimidating, so we're gonna kind of start by bringing her a little bit closer and just start really nice and slow. So she can kind of learn over time that she goes in the crate, she gets some really great treats and rewards, and so she can associate, oh, like, okay, good things happen when I go in the crate, nothing scary happens. Which is something we do with a lot of our animal ambassador animals that are trained to go into the crate, so we can bring them out and they're always comfortable. And then, can you explain a little bit more about the process of training? Like, what does it look like to go through with the request and a reward and... Yeah, absolutely. So when we're looking at a behavior that we're looking to, to um, looking at a behavior to train, we do something called positive reinforcement training or operant conditioning. So one of the things, so we always start by fi finding out what's rewarding for that animal. For a lot of animals, that's some kind of food reward. That's going to be what they really enjoy want to work for it's great just like if you were trying to work on something you might reward yourself with maybe an M&M if you're working on something 
So a lot of our animals they love their diets, so we can give them a little bit of their food. So I actually do have some worms and a little meat for her here in my pocket, which is kind of what you've seen me kind of go over and try and offer to her to see she's interested. Um, she is very stimulated being outside, so she's not super interested in eating at the moment, but I offer it to her. So when we're working on a behavior, once we've figured out what they really enjoy, whether that's some, some animals really like attention. Um, Gertie does really like it when you talk to her, so this is still reinforcing for her, me kind of coming over and hanging out with her. She does enjoy having that person come over and chat with her, but she does also like the food as well. So I have kind of my attention that I'm giving to her and food. And then usually when I'm doing training with her, I'll usually use the word good so that she knows exactly what she's doing, especially if I'm looking for a particular behavior. So when she does exactly what I'm looking for, I can say good, and then I pair that up with a food reward. So when we first start working on something, if I was going to say working on target training for an animal to touch my hands, I would just start by using that word, or if I was using a clicker, I would just click, treat, click, treat. Just so they know, okay, when I hear that sound, whether that's a word or a sound, that means food is coming. So that way when we're working with animals, because sometimes you have to be really careful with your timing when you're working with it. So if I want them to target something, I would want to click the second they touch that target so they know that's exactly what I was looking for. Because if I don't get my timing quite right, they might get a little confused. It's all about building connections when you're doing training. So they can't talk to us the way we can kind of explain what we're looking for. So that reinforcement is kind of how we create that connection. So for Gertie, when we started doing training with her for gloves, we started off kind of a little bit further away. So we would gradually move the glove closer and closer. And if she kind of stayed and didn't fly away, we would give her a nice little treat reward. And then would gradually over time, just move it closer and closer until we could kind of bring it right up to her feet on the perch. And then we could kind of give her a little little nudge when we first started training and that would kind of prompt her to step up onto it and kind of once she realized like okay you're looking for me to step on the glove then we can kind of just hold it up and she just steps up all on her own so it's just a very gradual of knowing that word good and kind of make building those connections so kind of like we do it's cool of putting things together are there other animals at the zoo that learn like this too yeah, so this is how we train all of the animals here at the zoo. So we have a fox and a sloth that are part of our ambassador program. We do the same thing with them. With Gertie, I like to use good, but for most of our anim other animals, we use a nice clicker. So it's a nice clear click that kind of marks that when what they're looking for when they're doing training. So, but they'll even do that with the giraffes and the, the tiger and lions as well. So we use that to train all kinds of behavior that help us improve their husbandry. So we can use it to help get a better look at somebody's hoof or to have them step onto a scale so we can keep an eye on their weight. So it's a really great tool to help us take better care of them and make sure the animals are comfortable and relaxed. Um, can you just repeat on the mic quick? Uh, if anyone has any questions, they can put them on the chat. Yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to throw them into the chat. I can answer some right now, and if we don't have any questions, or if some come to you later, throw them in, and we will come back and answer them for you later. But I think just talking about Gertrude, I know I talked a little bit about training, but Gertrude herself, so she is, and I know this is one when people see them a lot of times, ask if she's a baby. She actually is a full grown, but she is five years old. She is an African pygmy falcon, so just like really small. They are one of the smallest falcons in Africa and overall one of the smallest ones in the world. So you can see just how little she is compared to my palm. Uh, really little. And she's just kind of taking a look around and you can kind of watch her posture. How she's just kind of looking and kind of glancing at everything whenever she hears a noise. But she's doing great right now. So I did mention we kind of just started bringing her out. So she is doing absolutely amazing right now. She's really calm, she's comfortable, which is exactly what we want to look for when we bring her out for a program. So we want all of our animals to be comfortable, feel like they can look around, take a look, and not feel like anything is going to scare, or surprise them, or hurt them. So she's looking amazing right now. So everyone watching is part of her training right now too.
Yeah, it's we've good practice for her. Yeah, we've got a couple guests in the background, so she's hearing a little bit of that. You probably can't hear that over the mic. But we've also got some of our local noises, so and there's a little bit of a breeze today. When we brought her out yesterday, there wasn't as much of a breeze. So this is really great for her to kind of get to experience a little bit more sensation of, because you never know what's going to be around when I bring her out for programs. So sometimes it's just coming out, you're great on the glove, which she, she's fantastic on the glove. Now we have to kind of, the next step that we're working with her right now, getting her used to being outside, because it's really different being outside versus inside. But yeah. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the chat, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and join us next time.